Israel tonight is living through a nightmare. It cannot seem to wake up from. This surprise attack began at 6 a.m. local time. It is now past midnight, and this violent, chaotic situation is still unfolding. Hundreds of Palestinian militants early this morning surging through the border fence into towns and communities across southern Israel. Squads of Palestinian gunmen on the streets taking hostages, shooting people, engaging in gun battles with Israeli forces. There has been massive loss of life over the course of the day. Israel's foreign ministry says more than 200 Israelis have been killed, although many people here suspect that that death toll will rise further still. But beyond the loss of life, there is a hostage situation unfolding on a scale perhaps unlike anything Israel has ever seen before. Israeli security officials say that inside of Israel, there are still areas where Palestinian gunmen are holding Israelis hostage at gunpoint. They are surrounded at this stage by Israeli special forces. But even more complicated than that, Israel's military says there are both Israeli soldiers and civilians who have been taken captive by Hamas, by Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and carried over the border into Gaza, where they are being held. And it is the fact that there are Israeli citizens on the wrong side of the Gaza border tonight that will be weighing so heavily on the minds of Israeli decision makers from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on down as they decide their next moves. The Israeli military has said all options are on the table including a full-scale ground invasion of Gaza in order to find these Israeli citizens and to bring them home. Gaza is one of the most densely populated places on Earth. There are two million Palestinian civilians living under the rule of these Palestinian militants. An Israeli ground incursion is likely to lead to massive loss of life. And we are already seeing a very, very significant death toll inside of Gaza. The Palestinian Health Ministry says more than 200 people have been killed by Israeli airstrikes so far today. It is not clear how many of them are militants and how many of them are civilians. But the cost is being paid by ordinary people on both sides here in the Holy Land in this nightmare that no one seems able to wake up from. Back to you. Hamas militants launched thousands of rockets early Saturday morning in a stunningly brazen assault, taking Israel by surprise. In response, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu ordered strikes in Gaza, declaring his nation is in a war. President Biden weighing in, pledging unwavering support to Israel and sending a warning to adversaries. Let me say this as clearly as I can. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The world is watching. The bloodshed comes at a crucial time. The U.S. was working on a peace deal with Israel and Saudi Arabia that had been gaining momentum. Hamas leaders say this attack was a message to any Muslim country working on peace with Israel. Experts question why Israel was caught so off guard. The kind of uh, activities that would have had to precede Hamas's making these attacks should not have gone unnoticed. The unprecedented violence coming during the height of a major Jewish holiday. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.